guys, we are making Peking duck quack today. So it has been drying out for the past three days. Has it been three days? I even picked out one of my tea paws, although it's very empty in the chest area. Sage, my mom is like, you know, tea paw is for women to showcase their figure. And you don't have it. So maybe you don't want to wear it. And I was like, hmm. Anyways, we already scalded the skin and we already kind of prepped out most of the things. So basically now, I'm just going to prep a little bit of the veg. I don't have cucumbers, which we do need, Sage. My chef I worked with, he used to like name the ducks or like name the animals we were cooking and I was like, please stop. Don't do that. That bothers me. Very gently, you're gonna separate the skin away from the meat. I have the oven set at 360 on the convection setting. Let's start with 20 minute roast. Now we're gonna make our pancakes. For this dish, there's a lot of waiting around. So, prepare to wait. Do picking ducks win at picking contest? Nah, they're missing a C. Once nice and soft, massage, cover it for another 30 to 40 to an hour, I don't know. We get a lot of phone calls from Chinese people right now that they like try to see if you speak Chinese and if they do, if you do, they start sp spamming the out of you and so I always just pretend I can't speak Chinese. There's probably some Chinese person that's like trying to reach me and I'm just like, hello, excuse me, I don't understand and I do that every single time. But my mom told me that they're targeting like older, like lonely um, Chinese moms and they're like, oh, they'll send you all sorts of like, hey, I got a bunch of meat recently and I was just wondering if you wanted some because I have too much and and then some people will respond and be like, who is this? And they're like, oh, you don't remember me? We're friends. Oh, wait, I have the wrong number. Oh, but I want a new friend too, blah, blah, blah. And people are falling for this. All right, chat, I guess it'll be ask me anything time. Okay, the reason why I don't wear a lot of green is junior year prom. I bought a dress, like a ball gown, and it was green. And I asked my brother, I was like, how do I look? And he's like, to be honest, green is ugly. I think green is just an ugly color in general, and nobody looks good in green. In fact, you look terrible in that green, and that green is like booger green. And I was like, and I never really wore green again. I think I liked this dude in college, and. I got a haircut and he's like, and I told him I liked him and he was like, to be honest, Trisha, I actually used to have a crush on you too and I found you really attractive and I knew you liked me. But then after you cut your hair, um, I actually can't bring myself to be attracted to you anymore. And I was like, ah, and I never cut my hair short again. I'm making a mixed drink. You know, one of these days, I'm gonna go take a bartending week course. I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna teach you guys how to bartend and make dope drinks. Doesn't that sound fun? I'm excited for that. Vodka and one shot of vodka. Ooh, that was fun, right? Ooh. This looks awesome. Okay, it's a lychee yuzu raspberry drink. Let's see. Okay, you know what my friend said to me the other day? So my Chinese horoscope is the rooster. And he was like, wait, Trisha, you realize you're a Wang and a cock? And I was like, ah. it wasn't very nice. My last name's Wang. Dude, I got bullied so much growing up. Um, but yeah, my biology tutor's name was Tung Sok. Dong Suk is how it's spelled. D-O-N-G-S-U-K. And he was like, hi, nice to meet you guys. My name is Dong. Before you guys laugh, I know. My name is also, my last name is Suk. Get out of your systems now. And we were like, <laughs> And to be honest, just having the last name Butt is pretty bad. But in college, we had a classmate named, oh, I won't say his first name, but his last name was Butts. And every time I saw him, I was like, I lie, big butts, I cannot lie. You other brothers can't do none. And I would do that every single time I saw this poor dude. I think he hated me. We had a teacher named Mrs. Hightower, and she was the shortest woman I've ever seen in my life. And we were always like, oh, Mrs. Shorttower. We were terrible. I, I don't even know if I'd be a good mom. Realistically, I, I know I say this a lot on stream, but like if the kid says to me like, oh mom, I think there's a ghost in my room I'd be like, well, you better go get it Or like mommy, I see, I think I hear voices, Jesus Christ You are going to grandma's house and then having an exorcism I'm a coward. Mommy, I think there's a monster on, under my bed. Then go get it, buddy You think I'm gonna get it for you? You go get it Mommy, there's a spider. Can you kill it? No, no, you kill it 
This is your chore. I'll give you a quarter if you kill that spider. I was a very innocent kid in high school, I think. I didn't know what a blowjob was. I didn't know what it meant. Um, I thought it meant when you go to China and they wash your hair for you and blow dry your hair after, um, which is called a blowout, by the way. And I remember these dudes were talking in high school and I wanted to join in. And they were like, oh yeah, I got a blowjob. You got a blowjob before? And I was like, yeah, I've had one too. They're like only 11 RMB in China and I go get blowjobs with my dad. I meant blowouts and I got made fun of for like the rest of my high school career. It was horrendous. How the was I supposed to know when they said getting head? I really thought it was okay. The blowjob happens, you know, where they blow dry your hair and then afterwards they give you a head massage. I was like very innocent. Yeah, it was uh, humiliating to say the least when I found out what it was. I also didn't really attend sex ed class, uh, mostly because I ditched it. I'm sure if you type in Trisha Wang Tennis on YouTube, it shows up. I was buff and tan, if you see those videos. It doesn't even look like me. And I did the whole like... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whenever I want, I would go, come on! I was such an ass. I used to always say, out! Like this. Out! Come on, let's go! I'm starting to see why we got banned on Tinder. I still don't really understand why I got banned on Tinder. Cause it's not like I actually catfish people. I don't think I'm ugly in person, I really don't. Um, and I didn't really meet with people from it anyways. But what they did tell me was that people were using my account, um, using my face. And so people were reporting me when they saw me, which is silly. Cause who the f why? Why are people using my goddamn photo? Go use somebody else's. Like, have you seen Madison Beer? My dad is a very sweet summer child. He used to love explaining to people. Up until I had to explain to him maybe a, a year ago, he's like, Dad, you can't say this to people. And he's like, so I was very extroverted when I was younger and very talkative. And my dad would say to people, you know, the strongest muscle in Trisha's body is her tongue. And he wanted to, he meant that I'm like very good at talking. And he would say this to everyone and anyone who he would meet. And I was like, you gotta stop, Dad. And he's like, why? And I was like, no, 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 like, no, Dad, you, you can't say that to people. My dad was like, why? You got the strongest tongue of anyone. Like, you're the best talker I've ever met. I was like, Daddy, that's not what it means. Okay, please stop telling people that I have a really, really good tongue. Please. <laughs> he's so, such a, oh, like, good, like, sweet summer child. But God damn. Ah. Uh. And I told my dad, and he was like, why? And I was like, dad, um, it has dirty meanings. And he was like, oh, he's so innocent. Oh, sh <laughs> I don't think people thought that. There's no way people thought that. I was like, dad, mm. everybody thought that. You cannot go around just telling people that the strongest muscle in my body is my tongue. I swear to God. And then recently he forgot. And he was trying to explain to someone that I have really, really, really crazy taste buds. Because I do have the god tongue, like Irina. My dad was like, you know what's really incredible about Trisha? Her tongue. And I was like, not again! And he was like, oh, I meant her taste buds. And I was like, father, please. Father, no. Just say my sense of taste for <laughs> sake. So one of the things about the roasted duck, by the way, is the fat is like smoking at the bottom. This kind of almost smokes your duck. Wow, this is sexy. All right, let's give it another 10 minutes. Money can't necessarily buy happiness, but it sure as fuck can solve a lot of unhappy issues. Whoever said money can't buy happiness had a lot of fucking money. Because I know there's a lot of deeply unhappy people that would be much more happy if they didn't have money issues. And someone else said money can't buy happiness, but I would rather cry in a Lamborghini. And that's kind of true. Maybe not a Lamborghini. At this moment, I think maybe a Tesla might be nice. Or a duck. Oh my god, you a sex bastard. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this boiling hot oil. All right, hold on. Okay. I wonder if this will work. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like, in theory, it should. Oh, it does. It's gonna crisp up the skin more. Oh my god, look at it puffing up. Oh wait, you guys can't see it. 
Look at it puffing up like that. I'm a genius. Look at the color now. Look at this picking duck. Yeah, I left. I tried it a little in the beginning, but. Now we're gonna rest it for 15 minutes. <sighs> now, I'm gonna rush along and make the pancakes. So the best way to get these pancakes super, super thin, there's actually a technique to it. And I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna take, ooh, Pequino, love so sorry, big baby. I'm gonna take the oil, the ducky oil, and paste it on there. And then, I'm gonna roll it out. Did I saw Gordon Ramsay doing this blindfolded? Like breaking down a chicken, like a raw one? blindfolded and I realized that I think I could do it too which means I'm either stupid or good at what I do it might be the uh, the first one though all right duck so right here now right here cut off the remaining part of its neck and then here we're gonna have the wishbone Penguin, if you lick mommy's toes one more time. Mommy's not into that. All right, this is the wishbone. You can make a wish or you can chew the meat off of it. Are you proud of me? Yes. I'm your daughter. Peace. Thank you guys for joining. If you like this content, if you like food, if you like me, drop me a follow.